Well hello and welcome to Geomedism Total Notary channel. Today we'll make a little video on how to know if your USB 3.0 cable is fake or not. Because some of these cables you buy for sheep are fake, some are not. And we'll be using this uh, method just first examining the cables and see if it's USB 2 or USB 3. And then we'll actually make a speed test to really check what the speed capabilities whoops, of the cable is. And to do that you need to have a USB 3 or higher compatible external hard drive or device that can write at USB 3.0 speed. Some memory cards can. In any case, without further ado, let's go into it. Let's begin with uh, making a little examination of the cables. Here you can see this is a USB 2.0 male connector. And as you can see in here, we have four connectors, which tells us this is USB 2. If we instead check at this cable, that claims to be USB 3.0, we can see that we have four connectors in the front here. Now if you can see them, they are there. And we have five connections in there, which you definitely do, do see. And if we check at this other end, this is just an extension cable, you can see we have five connectors in the front here. And in the back, you can see we have four connectors. Yeah, now you can see it. Here we go. Which tells us that this should be a legit USB 3 cable. However, just to be safe, we'll make the speed test. Because some cases, they don't connect all the pins. They have too few cables in it. I don't know why they do that. I don't know how much money they really save by doing that. But uh, some do. And we are going to check that this is real. Alright, here we are on my computer to do this speed test. First you need to install Crystal Disk Mark 6. If you need help with that, check my tutorial of that in the description. In any case, when it's installed you should launch it up and of course you should plug in your external hard drive in a USB 3.0 connection. Uh, it is important that it is a USB 3.0 connection, so make sure it's really a 3.0 connection. You'll know this by looking at the motherboard and finding a blue connection. Not a black one, it has to be blue. Alright, and then you launch Crystal Disk Mark 6. You need to select D1. So uh, this is my external hard drive. It's G drive, and uh, you can. The more you choose, the more accurate your test will be. We'll try with uh, this 500 gigabytes, and uh, we'll just click all like this, and we let it run the test. So it will do some read writing tests here. Might take a little while. Uh, but let it run and uh, I'll be back with you when it's done. Alright, we have our results here. And uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this. Perfect, now we have it there. Because now we're gonna run a new test. So disconnect your <laughs> external hard drive like a nice guy. <laughs> Don't mess up your data. And when it's disconnected we'll just uh, unplug it. It can be unplugged. Fantastic. And you guessed it, we plug it in to our USB 3.0 cable and we plug the USB 3.0 extension cable to our uh, computer. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to restart this for good measure. Alright, like that. And we're going to run the test again. So uh, sit tight and we'll see what kind of results we get. Very exciting. Uh, but I think I'll edit this part out of you and you'll see. By the way, if you didn't know, this is the 
old result. Very professional. Whoops. Anyway, see you in a while. Well, 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 the test is just finishing off and we can definitely say we have some really promising results here. Um, well, now this is, <laughs> I spent some time making some nice paintings while um, I were not recording. So uh, there we have it. This is the new with the cable. This one, the arrow is pointing on that one that is. Um, so. The old results and the new results are basically the same, which means that our USB 3.0 cable is real, which is very nice. We don't have to get a refund. Also, I can see that my USB, my USB uh, external storage is also real USB 3.0 because you might get tricked by that too. And I know this because the read and write speed is... Uh, over 100 megabits per second. Many people think that the difference between USB 3 and USB 2 is enormous. However, it's not. It's not actually that big of a difference when you look at uh, real life writing speeds, when you look at how they actually uh, read and write, how fast they actually are. Theoretically, USB 2.0 can actually clock in at 480 megabits per second, but you won't see that. USB 2.0 maximum speed when it comes to real life, uh, real life writing speed is usually between 45 and 50 megabits per second. USB 3's writing speed, real life writing speed, not theoretical, real life writing speed should be over 100 megabits per second. It's usually around 110 megabits per second, which you can see in my results is pretty accurate. And this is why I know this is USB 3.2. So, very nice, our cable is real. I don't need to get a refund and well, hope that your cable is real too. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helped you determine if that USB cable you bought was real or not. And if it wasn't, make a refund. You didn't get what you paid for. And if it is, well, you probably made a good buy. Congratulations. If you like this video, please like the video. And do subscribe for future videos. This is Jimadism Total Nerdery Channel, officially signing out.